Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that when I upload a new video, you will be notified. Today's video is about teeth decay or teeth cavities. What is a cavity? A cavity is a hole on a tooth surface that becomes bigger and bigger, deeper and deeper when left untreated for a long time. What are factors that can make you to have cavities in your teeth? Number one is bacteria. In our mouth, there are millions and millions of bacteria. Good and bad, but they are not harmful to us. Uh, basically, they protect us from getting oral thrush, candidiasis, and all that. But when we interfere with that uh, pH in our mouth, this is where now these bacteria starts start to attack the teeth. When, what happens when you eat foods uh, and you don't brush your teeth, they will, these bacteria will rest, will come and feed on the teeth, remains of the teeth, uh, on the foods particles, then they will rest on the outer surface of the teeth tooth that is the enamel the outer surface is the enamel then the inner the second layer is the dentin and then we have the pulp where we have blood vessels and uh, and nerves so when now they they form a dent of plaque These bacteria will continue to grow, they will continue to reproduce, and then they will continue to feed on the food particles in our mouth. And when that dental plaque rests on the surfaces for a long time, they will now produce acids as a byproduct that will eat or dissolve the minerals of the tooth. Hence, your teeth now start in developing holes. Um, and when now even the bacteria stress even beneath the gums and even uh, on the gums, they will uh, cause more serious harm because they will make your gums to have uh, gingivitis or gum diseases. They can even lead to a more serious disease that is called periodontitis. Periodontitis is whereby all the structures of your tooth and even the bone will be eaten, all the tissues, the gums, the bone will be eaten, and then your teeth will be left seeing or being mobile. You can even, it reaches a point where you can even extract yourself. So it's more serious when these bacteria, these bad bacteria, increase. It will bring all these problems. The other factor that can predispose you from to getting cavities is the type of food you eat. When you are you are behavior is snagging between meals, eating sugary things all the time, you are likely to have cavities. Then the third thing that can predispose you to get cavities is the minerals were present in your body. If you like fluoride, which is the number one protector of our teeth from getting cavities, you will get cavities. Uh, fluoride is in toothpaste and even it is in water that you take. Uh, the other um, good mineral is calcium. If you eat uh, foods rich in calcium, uh, like even the vegetables, uh, you will just check. I will make a video to give you the details of the good foods for your teeth. So when you lack calcium, you will have a weaker teeth. But when calcium is present in your body, you will have stronger teeth. Then the other factor that can predispose you to get cavities is the healthy condition. The people who are the people who have problems in their stomach, that is acidity, maybe H. pylori, and there, there is a lot of acids coming from your stomach to the mouth. Uh, this one will corrode the enamel. When it corrodes the enamel, now it will be more um, susceptible to getting cavities. The other condition that can make you have cavities is when you have uh, 
when you have a dry mouth that one eh, or when you have less saliva in your mouth remember saliva cleanses our teeth eh, from all the plaque eh, and even hydrates our gums when you have less saliva you are likely to have cavities because you don't have a cleanser to help you wipe the the plaques the other factor that can predispose you to get a cavity is a genetic factor although this factor is not all that powerful when you have good oral hygiene when you have poor oral hygiene and you inherit softer enamel from your parents you are likely to have cavities so i want to give you now the symptoms how can you know that you are you have a cavity number one you may check uh, in your teeth you may realize there are some black stains or even gray stains number two you may uh, realize there is a hole on your tooth uh, number three you may realize you have teeth sensitivity maybe when you eat um, cold or hot things you may realize there is that sensitivity and number four you may realize uh, when chewing you have pain on your teeth and now I want to give you prevention. How can you prevent yourself from getting cavities? Number one is brush with a fluoride toothpaste. This one will protect your teeth from getting cavities. Number two, make sure you brush at least twice in a day, in the morning and in the evening. This one will be minimize the burnt bacteria from abiding in your teeth. Number three, Make sure you floss properly, uh, at least once in a day. Um, I think uh, there, there is a video which I didn't make for children having that floss. Make sure you floss between the teeth to prevent your teeth from getting even in between cavities. And the other one is go for checkups at least twice in a year. This one will help your dentist check if there is any dental plaque around your teeth or even beneath your gums and a professional teeth cleaning will be done to your teeth or even if there is any cavity starting to form it will be filled and the the other one which you can do to protect your teeth from getting cavities is minimize sugar sugary foods intake when you minimize that and minimize snacking between meals you will protect your teeth remember how the mouth held you healthy teeth healthy the everything that comes in your body starts from here so if you allow so many bad bacteria to rest on your mouth you will be swallowing all that and you will bring your body other healthy problems so please let's protect our mouth and our body will be well protected thank you for watching don't forget to share to friends to